2027 elections, Lagos APC stakeholders push for Ambode's candidacy. Wow, so uh, Ambode is to return as a uh, Lagos State Governor in 2027 to complete his two year term that he forfeited because of, uh, you know, uh, Sumolu and Tinubu. So the question is if they pushed him out like he was worthless, um, why should he accept to go back again? Rather, he should as aspire for a higher political office. Okay? If he goes back again, then he probably, there must be something wrong with his self worth. That is the truth because he was disgraced out of office because he was trying to break the yoke of Godfatherism between him and Tinubu. So now they want him to come back. And if, if he's ready to come back, then I fear. That is it. All Progressive Congress APC stakeholders have stressed the need for the party to give the governorship ticket to former governor, former governor of the state, Mr. Kiwumi Ambodi, saying he has the Midas touch to transform the state. Speaking on behalf of the stakeholders in Lagos, a stalwart of the APC, Oluwa Shiba Migbadi, and Ambodi's four-year tenure in the state witnessed massive development in an in infrastructure so this came on the heels of muslims in lagos in lagos states yearning for one of their own as governor in 2027 as disclosed by an islamic human rights organization the muslim right concern murik so murik want is an islamic person or one of their own a member of the murik to become governor of lagos state now wow ambody is a christian uh so if they want ambody that's fine but hmm he said many groups are on a daily basis yearning for the return of Ambode in 2027 to continue his Midas touch in Lagos. Uh, and again, in Lagos Development Agenda, saying they believe he would be given the opportunity to have a second shot in the government house as the constitution permits. Bamibadi said within four years in office, uh, he remodeled Lagos, making it an investment destination for big businesses from within and outside the country. He massively touched the lives of millions of Lagosians in every sphere, such that it would appear as if he had been in office for a far longer period. The, he caused a paradigm shift, taking the government from the urban center to the suburb and opening up their narrow roads, giving them modern streets with lights that um, also link the arterial uh, highways. So it has been a seamless arrangement that has prevented, okay, that has prevented the uh, traffic glut on the expressways. So Ambodi's health and education initiatives equally penetrated across suburbs in Lagos, giving opportunities to the son of a nobody to have access to free and decent education that would prepare them for the future. Hmm. Understanding the places of science, the place of science in the current educational system during his tenure. In office, Ambode established templates suggesting a progressive look into the future where science and tech will lead. Okay, so he added that the Ambode administration established the Lagos State Neighborhood uh, Safety Agency, saddled with the responsibility of collaborating with the federal government and other security outfits to ensure a safe Lagos state. Hmm. So the Lagos State neighborhood safety corp is a model of uh, community policing and other state governments are now rep replicating it in, in view of the prevalent security challenges he added so they are now trying to market somebody now to be come back as governor of Lagos state uh, but everybody we need to look at that very well we really need to look at that very well so somebody, for somebody to come back as another governor of Lagos State, <laughs> is he going to sign another agreement with Tinubu? Is he ready to become a godson of Tinubu 
But you know who is still the godfather of Lagos? The issue of breaking the yoke of godfatherism is he not going to come up again? Let's be frank and be sure that uh, hmm, somebody is ready for it. And uh, somebody is saying it's good in somebody we trust. That is what some other people are saying. And I've already saying, why not let the sleeping dog lie? Why not let the sleeping dog lie? The best governor ever, but very arrogant. Can you imagine? Ambode can make it how? Ambode can never come back unless, yes, Ambode shouldn't come back. He should go and pick up other political appointments or positions to work with. For him to have been disgraced out of office by voting him out like he was valueless, and then they gave the ticket to a small boy, uh, Babajide, that's a small boy to him. And that boy has completed, is completing his eight years. And that's when somebody will go back to complete eight years. Not believe that they Lagos now. Let them give it to someone else as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody said, somebody is far better than this useless, wicked Somulu. Is that what you think? <laughs> All of them are the same. Old. And also, politics now, wow. Well, eh? It is the turn of a Muslim person now why trying to cause problem in Lagos, okay? World people Christian. In Lagos world, people... In Lagos world, people Christians have done 12... Uh, 12 years... Uh, 12 years, Abba. And somebody say, God forbid, though, he will come with vengeance, Kawhi. <laughs> Yes, now he will come and they're not going to even vote him. They're not going to vote him. That is the truth. He will not be voted in. Ambode should go and find other things to do. They tried to delete him when he left office. They did not. So now if he comes, is he ready to continue to maintain the godfatherism between him and uh, Tinubu? Now Tinubu is the president. Is he going to be able to do that? Will, even Tinubu, will Tinubu accept that suggestion at all, sir, to get Ambode back to power? I don't think Tinubu will accept it. That is it. And even if Tinubu accept it, is uh, is um, is he ready to do all those things that he didn't want to do on that Tinubu in the first place? Ambode will not be ready to be a godson to anybody, and that means the fight between him and Tinubu will start again, and that will be another terrible thing to take place. So that is what is happening. Ambode to come back in 2027 as a Lagos State uh, Governor to complete his two terms. The question is, what did he forget in government house? He has lived there for some time now, for almost eight years. Let someone else go there and let him go and sleep. That is it. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment.